Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with travel, beach, or hygge themes. I also do a little bit of stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thanks again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I am excited to share my second Etoile box with you. Again, Etoile is star in French. This boutique lifestyle box is $39.99 plus $4.99 in shipping but if you use my code noel 10 you can actually save $10 on your first box which I think is a pretty good deal so a lovely box last box I got was like holiday themed so this is probably what their regular box looks like and inside is beautiful as well love that scallop design kind of has some like mermaid vibes to it right on top I am seeing a nice little handwritten note and you guys know I love a handwritten note it says happy new year noel i hope you enjoy the january renew box from its wild box i look forward to your review thank you for your support warm wishes christina so again thank you christina for sending me this box for review um so very excited about a box that also has a theme i always just think that really adds to the curation of a box now she sent this out to me a little while ago and i don't think she had a chance to put the product card in it so she sent it to me and i went ahead and printed that out so i have that on the side i don't think there's the retail values though you guys know that I do really appreciate that with lifestyle boxes so that I can really enjoy the curation a little bit more and feel like I'm definitely getting my money's worth but um, then there's not much in terms of description either at least not on what she sent me so that might be a place where they might upgrade eventually but inside everything looks like it's nestled nicely into the box and it does smell good already so that's always a good sign so I'm going to go ahead and pull out what I'm seeing first, which is, ooh, this is by Sweetwater Decor. It says Spa Day, and it's a reed diffuser, and I love reed diffusers. I love all kinds of home fragrance, in all honesty. I love candles. I love reed diffusers. I love wax warmers. I love all the things. So it's a package so pretty, too. So it says that you could have gotten this Sweetwater Decor premium reed diffuser, which is non-toxic, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. So they did give us that information. Or you could have gotten an Eco or Echo candle, a deluxe hand poured soy candle so um really you couldn't go wrong either way so i'm happy though to have another reed diffuser i'm there now it's got a little twist tie i'm trying to like pull the bottle out i was probably i'm probably not gonna like open it up up right now well i guess i could definitely open it up to give it a smell um because i have like a reed diffuser in every room right now so i feel like sometimes it's competing with the candles when i light them so nice beautiful simple jar appreciate that let's give it a smell so it just says spa day so i'm kind of curious to see if it's got like I don't know like lavender or eucalyptus or what what does a spa smell like in your mind you guys oh it's got a little bit of a sweeter scent than I was expecting I I'm so bad about fragrances and knowing exactly what those notes are so I would be curious to find out so maybe I'll actually look it up on Sweetwater Decor and find out what spa day means but it does it smells relaxing so I think this would be a great scent to have in your home all the time and I love it it's very pretty and simple um, which I think does have it those like boutique vibes and then I don't know if this is just a sachet or if there's something in there but you guys know I love me some polka dots so this is pretty cute let's see what's in here there is something in there. There's a couple things in there. So you kind of put them together so they aren't rolling around in the box. So one is like a velvet scrunchie. There's just like a little string. Let me pull that off. Um, let me just uh, snip that so it doesn't get in the way. So this is probably not a color I would normally wear just because it is awfully bright. I usually like to do like neutrals in my hair, but you can always use a nice soft scrunchie, right, you guys? So it just says, this is by Saved by Grace. You could have gotten velvet or satin. So probably would have gone for the satin in all honesty because I feel like that's really good for your hair, but super cute. And if I don't use that, I can definitely pass it on to someone else. I love this little bag though. It's really cute. Um, and the other thing that was in there was ooh, a lip balm from Rock Creek Soaps and it's in Lemon Berry which sounds good you guys know I get tons of lip balms in different subscriptions just because I feel like it's an easy thing for them to throw in there but I don't mind because I love passing them on to other people and I always love having like just a million of them because I feel like they grow feet and they run away so this is a nice little item as well we've still got tons of stuff in here though you guys all right 
The next thing, it looks like we've got a few different items from Dirtbag Beauty, which is a, a company I've seen before. So we've got three different pouches and they all have different colors. So they all must be different things. One is flawless. Let's see, this looks like maybe a mask. It says bright, soft, smooth, pore perfecting, exfoliating facial cleanser for all types. So um, it's just like a powder. So it says wet face, empty contents into palm, wet opposite palm and rub hands together to activate the powder. Gently pat and lightly massage into skin using Using circular motions avoid avoiding the eye area so I'm gonna have to like read those instructions again so that I don't mess it up but that's kind of cool and then what's the next thing we've got something called pink beach so I'm guessing maybe these are bath salts it says transform your bath water into a lovely soft pink soak in a luxurious blend of indigenous ingredients handpicked to provide a blissful experience soothing aromatic and therapeutic rejuvenate your skin and let your mind drift away to the tropical tranquility of pink beach the bahamas so it just says that you can soak for 15 to 20 minutes you guys know that i am not a bath girl so i will pass these on to somebody else um i know i could use them as a good foot soak but again i just haven't ever like managed to find myself a nice good foot soaking tub yet uh, so i might as well just pass it on to someone that i know will use them and then the final one is illuminate it says refines pores and moisturizes visibly firms gentle exfoliating facial cleanser so we got two different cleansers and i'm guessing it's got like the same instructions so i have two shots to like figure it out so let's see what it says about this it just says vegan skincare goodies that's that's the description we've got for these but i love that we got a little bit of a variety so that's fun and then we got this gorgeous, let me just wipe this up because it's got some like foozle dust, uh, which is foozles are what I call the paper shred, you guys. I, I think I just got that from another like probably Disney unboxing channel. And so that's what I call them. This is by Kitsch Beauty. It's the Satin Eye Mask and it came in this nice package and it's this very pretty peach with some little dots on it. I'm not going to pull this out yet. I might pull it out to take some photos just because it'll be prettier. But um, for now, I'm going to keep it in here because I don't usually use eye masks as relaxing and lovely as they look because I usually have eyelash extensions. So I don't like to have anything on my face at night, even though I do like really like it to be nice and dark um so these are usually something i pass on to someone else but this is a really like classy one in satin for sure um so it just says this is by uh let's see by kitsch that's that's all it says about it so i'll have to look up some of these brands on my own this is a lovely and it kind of goes with the like french vibe of the box now my tin got a little bit dented you can kind of see but you can also see that there's some uh nutritional facts here so you know it's something edible which of course I love which is a bummer though because this is such a great tin you guys it's got one of those like French posters on the front and I would have loved it to not be dented so I could use it for I don't know like stickers or stamps or something I love reusable tins I, I don't always have an immediate use for them but I feel like I could find one for this so what are these so it says chocolat um, amat I'm not sure what it says honestly it's kind of like wrapping around the edge but let's see what it actually is so it says this is by Olo and Company sumptuous chocolate leaves in a vintage tin so um, you guys haven't seen them because they're in the other spaces of my house but I actually collect uh, Vilmo French posters like ones that actually were hanging up in France I think the oldest one I have is from like 1980 um, but it is like definitely sort of my aesthetic now I think I can't open it because it's got a little bent but let me give it a try see if I can do it without breaking a nail. Otherwise, you guys will just have to wait until I open it up to take photos over on Instagram. So let me give it one more try. Sometimes, you know, if you just don't make eye contact with it and pretend pretend you've given up, then it'll it'll slowly uh, slowly work. Or maybe I can do the old like loosen it now and come back to it later. So we'll come back to it later um, and see. Oh, see, I just pretended that I was going to move on and it like got the idea and then came on over. So it has a nice seal to it. So it looks like this actually comes out of the tin. And I thought the tin actually, I thought it was going to be um, like hinged, but it's not. The lid just comes off. So maybe I'll be able to like bend everything like back into place. Um, but let's see what our chocolate leaves look like because I'm curious. I probably won't eat any of them. Oh, this is really cool, you guys. I... I was not expecting this because one, I wasn't expecting them to be like white chocolate like this, but they're, they're like these little speckled leaves. I'm sure they're delicious and it looks like there's a ton of them in there, which you guys know I love because then I don't feel like I've ate them all in one sitting. I might be able to stretch it out over a couple, a couple little nibbles. So that's kind of nice. All right. We still have more, which is great. 
We have something from Old Whaling Company. This is Cleanse and Refresh Bold Southern Floral. And it just came, oh, I was looking at the back of the box. Here's the front of the box. It says it's in Magnolia, which is a great scent. And it says it's a handmade bar soap, which you guys know I love. Um, I love fancy soaps. And one day I hope to have a house big enough where I can have my fancy soaps in my like guest bathroom. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look. Ooh, look how pretty. So it's this like a rosy color and then it's got that rough edge which I always think looks so pretty but it almost looks like a rose there on the top you guys with all those swirls Ooh, nice light scent definitely not like a heavy floral scent which I know some of you guys like me aren't fond of but it is not a heavy floral scent at all and then I think we've got one more item in here and we'll go over my little like uh, cheat sheet here at the end just to make sure so this is wrapped up in tissue, and I think this might be one of my favorite things, uh, aside from that reed diffuser, because that smells really good. This is beautiful. It's a little trinket dish, which we do get a lot of trinket dishes in lifestyle boxes, but I am not upset about it. I actually just like cleaned off my whole dresser and like kind of rearranged all my trinket trays and put some jewelry away in the like jewelry armoire. Um, this is beautiful. So it's got this like marbled glaze in gray, and then that nice gold edging you guys this is by sweetwater decor love this love the like square shape of it kind of makes it very sleek love the like marbled pattern really really pretty great item for sure probably my favorite you can use these for so many different things for treats for soaps for like i said trinkets jewelry uh what have you paper clips on your desk little like a little valet by the door for change like all kinds of uses for this and it does look very sleek very elegant so let's just go over everything we got we got that luxurious satin eye mask from kitsch we got the old whaling company hips hair and skin nourishing soap so you can actually use that as like a, a shampoo bar as well that's kind of cool we got the uh, also from sweetwater decor the spa day diffuser which is probably my favorite um, or you would have gotten a candle that's another option we got the velvet scrunchie but you might have also gotten a satin instead we got the sumptuous chocolate leaves in the vintage tin which is probably going to be another favorite of mine we got that assortment of dirtbag skincare goodies and then we also let's see rock creek soaps what was oh the lip balm that's why i was like had soap on the brain when i when i said that product name so we also got the lip balm so packed full of all kinds of things i think this again you guys this box is very reasonably priced and this was a really nice assortment for a lifestyle box so definitely put it on the radar or maybe go ahead and take the leap and go ahead and subscribe especially using that coupon code because then it's an even better value let me know what your favorite item was in the comments below if you appreciated this video please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully i see you all very very soon in my next unboxing